Bang. Competition begins in five, four, three, two, one. Ah! I am not done with you yet. I promise you, pain without me. Ah! Doctor, this way. Now, Doctor! Doctor! This ever happen to you? You hopped into a happy match of TF2 for an hour, or so you hoped. You, however, horrifically decided to pick Heavy. Having half the classes designed to be nothing but a harmful hazard, especially to your head, you're halted from having fun. Now I know a lot of people are already rushing to the comments to write a rant about why they're right. No one hates Heavy. And yeah, for the most part, I do agree. Heavy, unlike every other class we've discussed in this series, undeniably has no universal fuck use of him. There are minor gripes and annoyances he has, which we'll go over, but there is no mindless weapon, no spamming, no questionable game balance choices, no annoying strategies, and no profiting on your idiotic ineptitude. There's just Heavy. Whoa! This is Heavy! Like Mario for Nintendo, Sonic for Sega, and Earthbound for every indie wacky action RPG game, Heavy is the face of TF2. He's in Left 4 Dead, Poker Knight the Inventory, and even Worms, but despite being the face of the game, Heavy suffers some severe self-identity issues. As his name suggests, Heavy is Heavy. He weighs as much as his health, being 300, and can fire 300,000 rounds a minute thanks to his minigun. He's meant to be the bulky bulwark of the battlefield, brushing off bruises and bullets bestowed upon him. In other words, a tank. He can take damage without a dent, but can he dish it out? Sorta. Heavy's minigun is one of the few sources of sustained damage within the game, meaning the longer someone stays in your sight, the more scarring you supply, as long as you're somewhat close to them. Issue is that because Heavy inches along, getting enemies within that sweet spot is a challenge, and getting them to stay in it for long enough to fall over is even more of one. Especially when shooting slows you even more. This slow speed also means that all those snipers, spies, scouts, soldiers, and explosion men see Heavy as nothing but a free chicken dinner. Being a 300 HP tank means very little when half of the classes can insta-kill you, and the other half can deal 100 damage easily because you're unable to dodge. Thankfully, you can close the distance or backpedal away with the shotgun, or stuff your stomach with a sandwich to restore your health. The typical tank is oftentimes talked about as being trash or for total trainees. The less experience you have in a game, the more likely you are to make mistakes, giving appeal to characters that may have extra health, armor, or defense. This lack of experience and overall bulk also typically means less skilled shenanigans and techniques are applied into the game. On the flip side, when you actually do learn the game, light-footed characters take the lead, having lasting bonuses at the cost of fragility. Because the emphasis is on not making mistakes and playing to the best of your ability, characters like these are typically notarized as being higher skilled and much stronger. The main issue with Heavy being a tank is that TF2 is mainly about movement. Rocket jumping, sticky jumping, and double jumps are obvious examples, but are limited to one class each. But damage surfing, strafing, getting to the point and predicting enemy movement are all basic game mechanics each class needs to have some success with to survive and thrive. Save for Heavy, who sucks with all that. Being the face of TF2, he's obviously drawn to lure new players into picking him like a creep of candy. Not just with the marketing, but also with his design. Sniper takes some flack about being a quote-unquote universal concept. You scope in, and you click on heads. But there's still some semblance of a shakeup that still makes snipers still sovereign to new players, such as the charging system, in addition to class matchups such as spies, soldiers, or scouts, teaching that some characters are meant to stab you, some are meant to soar into the sky, and some are meant to shoot you till you scream. Heavy, on the other hand, he he has a big gun and it shoots. It shoots a lot. A lot of bullets. Sure, the concept of classes still plays a part, but not the same pedigree as Sniper. If a scout pops up, you still shoot him the same way if he was a spy or soldier. Heavy may be designed for new players to the game, but he doesn't actually come equipped to be designed for the game at all. That is like onion! They stink! Yes! No! Oh, they make you cry! No! 
Oh, oh! You leave them out in the sun and they get sniped! No! Worse! Here he is, Lairs! Onions have Lairs! You get it. We both have Lairs. Being the class that brings in beginners means that Heavy has undeniably one of the lowest skill floors out of all the classes in TF2. You point the gun, move slowly, and shoot at anyone who gives you a stupid look. Listen, one class obviously has to be the lowest, but thankfully, Heavy's skill ceiling can save him. Can we get the graph pop-up animation for uh, Heavy's skill ceiling? Can we, can we get that going? Can we, can we get, can we, can we get the one, you know? The one that shows how much skill can be applied to him to maximize his potential. The one that shows how many layers of a class he has. It is up! Oh. Oh. Well, you, you, uh, well, somehow, that doesn't surprise me at all. Seems pretty- OBJECTION! HEAVY DOES TAKE SKILL! HEAVY HAS MANY PLAY STYLES! HEAVY HAS MECHANICAL DEPTH! And other funny jokes you can tell yourself. Heavy is such a one-dimensional class that it makes Mr. Game & Watch look like IMAX 4D. Before the comments start flooding in about how Heavy requires good aim, positioning, and game sense to play effectively, let's just mention that every class has this need. In fact, every single game with a gun has these attached to them. They aren't unique to Heavy at all and are all basic game mechanics, and even then, it's still kind of arguable that Heavy still doesn't rely on them as much as other classes. When it comes to aiming, Heavy is the only class whose primary is a tracking weapon compared to a burst one. Keeping your reticle on a target for an extended period of time is a lot easier than trying to predict where it'll be, especially when the high rate of fire of the minigun mitigates any missing you make. Compared to the burst damage weapon such as the rocket launcher, grenade launcher, or sniper rifle, where a single miss means misplacing massive amounts of potential damage. The problem with positioning is that it's partially paired with mobility. A class such as Scout, Soldier, and Demo has twice as much mobility simply because they can sprint past everyone else and have verticality attached to them. Having to account for your position not just on the ground but in the air as well means they require more game sense and skill to succeed. As for actual mechanical depth, I don't think anything can truly topple the tower that is rocket jumping in terms of how complex but sophisticated it is. Even relatively simpler classes such as Engineer or Sniper still have some tricks up their sleeves such as Wrangler jumping or drop shots. The most mechanical skill Heavy has going for him is Jump Revving and Sandwich Throws, but if we're considering hitting M2 with the Sandwich out a skill, then we may as well consider throwing Mad Milk and Girardi a skill as well. As for Jump Revving, yes, it is something that adds just a little bit of flavor to Heavy's skill set like salt for potatoes, but it isn't that fascinating. People tend to have the ability to simplify classes that they seeth about to simple key selection. Pyro is all WM1. Engineer Sentry does everything. All Demo does is spam. Surface level bullshit like that. But in all seriousness, it's literally just hitting space and then M2. It's a button combination that rivals Reggie's. I really don't want people to focus on the point of Heavy takes zero skill, Heavy is too easy, get good noob, play a good class, and focus more on the fact that because Heavy has a low skill ceiling and lacks mechanical depth that it makes him a boring class to play. He isn't so stupid easy that as soon as you spawn the entire world goes up into flames killing everybody. My flesh, it burns! I already mentioned how hard he gets punished for being a slow, immobile mass of muscle rather than a swift, sprinting son of a spy. I main Sniper. Sniper is a pretty linear class, and yet I still find joy in seeing my aim improve and finding incredibly stupid spots to snipe from. Like this one! Actually, actually I like this spot too much to share it with the world. Um, you can have, you can have this sniping spot instead. There you go, trade secret. Aiming in general is a skill that you'll always see some improvement on, same with positioning and game sense. But on Heavy, it all feels so unimportant that feeling that sense of growth or improvement feels so lost that it makes me hate playing him. Thankfully, classes have weapons that mix up the gameplay and open new doors to new strategies and playstyles, keeping things as fresh as the Prince of Bel-Air. So, what do we have? We have the stock minigun, the minigun but more annoying and less damaging, the minigun but more damaging and somehow slower, the minigun but more accurate, and finally the minigun but even better in close range. 
you, you know what? That's fine. That's that's okay. You know, there, there's still a chance that Heavy has subclasses that give him some layers and depth to it. Uh, what do we got? Okay, not a promising start. Would it really call being a friendly a playstyle or even playing? To be honest, uh, what else do we got? Also, wouldn't really call using your secondary only a subclass. Using your melee only a sniper doesn't make you a sniper knight or something, does it? Fat Scout doesn't really add anything new to the set idea of Heavy to really be considered a subclass in my eyes. But thankfully, this last one at least has some semblance of success here, so it's a start. Brawler Heavy or Boxer Heavy removes the defensive aspects of Heavy and replaces it with a much more aggressive and mobile melee playstyle, similar to Demo Knight. But while Demo Knight succeeds due to his extra damage resistance, health, and especially mobility, Boxer Heavy gains none of that. Heavy's high health, while under the effects of the Buffalo Steak Savage, effectively becomes 250 due to the extremely stupid 20% increase in damage it provides. You do gain slight mobility and mini crit damage, but not enough to actually do something worthwhile with it. The speed makes you ever, ever so slightly faster compared to normal speed classes like Pyro or Engineer. It's as noticeable as the UN's effort in any conflict. The speed simply isn't enough to actually catch up to any players in the short amount of time you're under its effects, meaning the mini crit damage you can inflict often goes to waste instead of being inflicted as injuries to your enemies. And with TF2's incredibly horrible hit detection, any miss melees means running a marathon to catch up to the now retreating enemy. Heavy's base weapons don't try and attempt to diversify or change his gameplay in the slightest. Even the more minor changing weapons still have some impact applied to them that makes them stand out. The Widowmaker is a shotgun that can infinitely fire as long as your aim is good, rewarding precision. Don't have precision? Then you need to balance shooting and saving metal. With Heavy, all his weapons feel like a plus one, minus one to his stats rather than any depth or thought put into them. And as for his subclass, it's just Demo Knight copy and pasted, but with no thought actually put into what made Demo Knight work. I don't get it. What exactly? Don't you get? So. It turns from a minigun into a slower but more damaging minigun, right? Da! Well, what's fun about that? You know what? I'm a mature man. I'll admit that maybe there is a slight chance that I'm missing something when it comes to playing heavy. Sure, he makes me want to smash my face into my desk. He walks too slow, his damage is too low, and by god, he needs a medic to put on a show. But there's gotta be something appealing to him, right? That's why there are nine heavy mains out there. If only there was a self-proclaimed heavy main who would walk through the door and share his secrets of heavy with me. Or, or not, I guess. As I stated at the start, I don't think heavy is a class that anybody hates fighting against. He has several easy counters and his lack of mobility and effective range makes flanking or spamming him from range an easy target to whittle health down. Even if he's considered to be the easiest class to play as, and specifically designed for beginners, there's simply too much putting him at a disadvantage to really make him seem strong. People who do complain and genuinely hate fighting against heavies are typically either pyromanes who rush him head on, or simply weren't paying attention to the mountain of muscle moseying on over to kill them. Maybe that's what makes dying to him feel even worse, and instead of blaming yourself, People call him an easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy class. Situations like that would also typically result in death regardless of class in most scenarios anyways. A heavy jump revving around the corner and feeding you a diet of lead is comparable to a soldier shooting you skyward and sunning you in the same situation. And as stated, it's not like there's a massive skill ceiling that also makes fighting a god-tier heavy so infuriating, unlike other classes like Soldier or Sniper, because all his tools, skills, and mechanics are so limiting and require extensive support from a medic or engineer to make use of. If anything, this video should be called Why People Hate Playing Heavy. It, it won't be though, it doesn't match. He's as shallow as a pool in the Gobi Desert, with not enough mechanical skill or depth to feel fun playing over a long period of time, and too many significant drawbacks make playing him the short time fun either. His overall lacking amount of varied playstyles, weapons, and depth doesn't help with how stale the gameplay becomes either. Even in the few shining moments I had with Heavy where I had a medic on me and I mowed and I cut through the entire enemy team like a suicidal guy's wrist, I still felt pretty underwhelmed. It made me question if I could have been better if I was another power class. 
I got 4k hours in TF2 and more than 100 hours on all classes, even after I reset them. Except for Heavy. He's the one class that doesn't appeal to me or many others, as I feel is evident by the rarity of him in casual games and the lacking amount of Heavy mains. And that's, my good friends, is why people hate Heavy. And thus, a chapter closes on the channel, for the class-based conversations has run its course. The series may still be brought back around in a new light, why people love is currently on the table, although I'd rather continue talking about why people hate stuff like certain maps and minorities before selecting a new series to start. Still got a lot of stuff to create and do over the next couple of months as well, including the next community game mode tier list, which should be up and coming in the next few videos. What could it be? This entire video is a bit of a hint to be fair on what it is. If you want to get more details about it and other upcoming videos, we got the Discord there, which I typically leak stuff in there, and the Patreon, which gets you into the video, art, and some other nifty fun stuff like tutorials on how to build pipe bombs from home.